Come on, let's go to the house. Okay, dude, let's do it. I saw this highway as I was heading north. I'm heading south right now. And I thought, oh, that's cool. That'd be a great spot. The whole strip here is all burnouts and donuts, and this is their happy spot for their cars of us. But this made me pull over. I could see this train off in the distance. I thought, oh my God, that thing looks like a relic. But in actuality, I think they still use this thing for pushing the carts around for the grain elevators. I have a destiny picked out just uh, just north of town here, about an hour or so. <laughs> Holy wind! Woo! I think we found our establishment for tonight. Uh, no, we didn't. <laughs> if you're gonna park me on the side of a major highway with no trees well, at least they have services but they wanted 50 bucks tonight nope not happening not in this mud bog <laughs> nice try though okay head down the highway this is the Theodore Saskatchewan This little sign spurred my interest. Not two kilometers in, in the right direction. <laughs> it's like five o'clock and I feel so defeated today. That, oh, there's a campsite. No, 50 bucks. Oh, look, there's a regional park up here. $7 to get in, $20 for the night. Uh, we're just gonna go find a place and hunker down for the night. I'll see you when I find it, because <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Yes, dude, do you want to go outside and see the church? <laughs> dude, can you do me a favor and try not to pull too hard? This thing is crazy. Look at it. to another door. <laughs> I'm willing to check. Oh, 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 oh. No. 
They've nailed it shut too. Hang on. Yeah. I have to go. If there's no signs. Oh my goodness. This thing is beautiful in here. Look, there's a stairway going upstairs to the booth. This thing is amazing. Can you imagine the weddings in this place? It's so small. It really is very, very small in here, but. Oh, <sighs> don't see churches like this very often and this one here is right on this side of highway 16 in Insinger, saskatchewan and by the looks of it there isn't too many occupants of this town let's do a drive through Take you to look at that, but I'm gonna guess it's either a church or the school. Uh, so the story goes, according to history and what I've been told, that Canada opened up uh, the prairies, mostly Saskatchewan, to uh, people to come out and get free land and you're supposed to come out here and actually make a, a, a farm and make a good food off it so you can give back to Canada to help produce food for Canada. So the story goes, we have a lot of these ghost towns because we were giving away free land around the turn of the century and a bunch of prospectors came out from Eastern Canada out here to the prairies and started farming. And uh, we needed all these green towns and these farmlands, but a lot of them didn't make it. So that's why we're stumbling across all these old abandoned homesteads and ghost towns. They just didn't survive. And this is back in the, from the early 1900s to the 1930s and 40s. So a little history of Canada's Western flatlands. <laughs> we'll go into depth later. That's Yellowhead 16, and this is our cozy little home here for the evening. We'll let this little bundle of joy out. There we go. And to call this little uh, rest stop area home for the night. Are you happy with it, dude? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I feel I've overextended myself today with... Uh, you know, I thought shopping would be easy. I thought everything else would be easy. And all we did is keep running into roadblocks. Even finding a place to stay was becoming difficult. So it's getting late. It's almost seven o'clock. I'm gonna shut her down for the evening and say, peace, love, and granola. I love you all. And um, we'll see you on the next video. Good night, dude.